Hey guys, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I didn't have anything prepared for this week's video. So, we're gonna do another sit down talk video. You know, some of you seem to like these ones. Um, you know, I just wanted to talk about some shit that's kind of been, uh, not bothering me lately, but something I just think is important for viewers and streamers alike to know. So, the thing I wanted to talk about is setting boundaries with your community. Um, and I know this is a, a pretty big thing that a lot of streamers talk about, but I, I feel like some streamers are scared to talk about this with their community for various reasons, you know. Sometimes... You don't want people to leave, and sometimes people are just scared that they'll get negative backlash from. It. But I'm here to just talk about, you know, why I think it's important to do so. And first, I want to say that, you know, there's a difference between posting, um, like, sus shit, you know, on the internet and, and, and content and baiting people for parasocial relationships. Like, for example, over on Twitch. Follow me on twitch.tv slash live YouTuber if you haven't already. But I quite literally just waxed my balls on stream. Didn't show anything, Twitch. Don't ban me. But I waxed my balls on stream. Super funny. Everybody thought it was really fucking hilarious. It was a great time. All right, everybody thought it was fun. But there's a difference between that and baiting people to like come near streams and be regulars and donate money for a parasocial leeching relation. Cause I know some people, um, when you kind of talk about this thing, these types of things are like, Oh, well you post your boobies on the internet. So you, you're actually baiting people to be some parasocial. That's a different thing. That's p people posting such shit is fine. Nobody cares. Stop trying to blame other people because they just want to post sus shit and you're blaming it on them. It's not their fault. It's your fault. Anyways, um, I think it's one thing to talk about, one big thing, especially for me and a lot of other content creators, to talk to viewers at, on and off stream, whether it be in community or in chat, uh, things like discords and stuff. Talk to them pretty chill, you know, not uh, in a lax environment. It's nothing, uh, you know, I don't think streamers treat chatters too differently than they treat most normal people, unless you're making a joke out of them because they're being a dickhead. Um, but some people take that as like, oh, this streamer knows me. This streamer wants to be my friend, which is, it, it, it's not true. You know, I'm sorry if you're out there and you thought I was your friend because you've been in my Twitch chat a few times. No, I'm, I'm not your friend. Um, and Ludwig made a really great video on this. Um, which is why actually in this tweet right here, um, I referenced him. I put the whole image for his, I'm not your friend video. Um, I was basically saying in this tweet that in general, all right, a streamer doesn't know you if you talk in Twitch chat, even if they're friendly with you, even if they make jokes back and forth with you, we don't know who you are, nor do we know you personally at all, you know, I don't fucking talk to most of my community out, like, on a personal level, there's some people I have, you know, there's some people that in my community I've become great friends with. But just because you come into my Twitch chat and you're like, hey, Sai, how you doing? I'm like, what's up? That doesn't make me your friend. I, I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about your life and nor do you know anything about mine other than what I share publicly. You know, and I think that's an important conversation to have and an important boundary for streamers to be able to say with their community um, to say. Hey, I don't fucking know you. I don't know who you are. You don't know me. We're not friends, you know? 
And that's a mean way of saying it, but sometimes you gotta be mean for people to get the point. Just because I'm a goofy guy on the internet up to goofy things doesn't mean I'm your friend. Doesn't mean I will be your friend. And that doesn't mean that just because I said have a good day that I will permanently be thinking about you for the rest of my life and think, oh my God, I love this person. They're uh, one of my favorite people. No, I'm here to entertain people. I'm here to have a good time. I love streaming. That, that's really what it's about, you know? And I think parasocial relationships are very toxic to uh, a lot of streamers, and they make a lot of streamers very uncomfortable. Um, and another thing I wanted to talk about off the subject of parasocial relationships, I wanted to talk about how streamers are afraid to set boundaries with their community or people get nervous when um they're they want to set boundaries with their community because they're afraid of how their community would react and to all those streamers out there i understand how you're feeling i've been in that place before but my main pieces of advice to you guys out there who have a hard time setting these boundaries with your community is it's never going to fucking change if you don't. If you don't like se people sexualizing you in weird ways, which has happened to me, happened to a lot of personal friends of mine, if you don't like that, you have to say it and you have to take action against the people that are, that are doing it. You know? Like, or else nothing will change. You have, to, uh, you have control in your stream environment. You have the power to ban anyone. And you have power to make examples of them. To say, hey, that person's fucking weird. Any of you act like them, you're out. Because at the end of the day, streaming in your community is what you make of it. And some people don't believe that uh, a streamer's job is not to control their community. Personally, I believe streamers should be responsible for the community they cultivate. And that community should at the very least not fucking make the streamer uncomfortable all the time so i feel like we should all have a have a sit down conversation and be like guys we need to make streaming a more in comfortable space for all these streamers and i feel like it should be normal to set your boundaries with your community because especially if you're a smaller streamer who has a group of regulars that come by all the time there could be shit that bothers you and there's nothing wrong with saying that's fucking weird. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't fucking do that. It's weird. Uh, there's nothing wrong with saying that. Uh, so don't be afraid to make the, that decision, make that executive call, because at the end of the day, it's your community. It's your place where you have the power to say, uh, I want this in my community or I don't want this in my community, you know? And one last thing I wanted to, talk to you is for the chatters out there you know all you all you guys who love chatting um streamers can be at fault as well definitely and i think that it's okay for stream uh uh for you to go to your streamer uh if you dm them or something then you'd be like this is something you did that makes me or a lot of people uncomfortable this is why and if they don't stop doing that, you can just leave that streamer. Um, this is in reference to um, a lot of people. I've seen a lot of streamers out there um, guilt tripping their regulars for not being present in the stream. Um, and to all those regulars out there, don't. If your streamer is guilt tripping you because you haven't been there in five days, you know. Don't watch that streamer anymore. Because the philosophy I go by is if you can make it, great. But if I don't see you for a month, I'll just be like, oh, what's up? Been a while. Right? Like, you owe nothing to a streamer in terms of, like, they just provide entertainment to you. Uh, streamer, that's really what we do. 
you don't owe them jack shit. You don't owe them fucking hours of your life if you don't want to be there. Only watch a streamer if you enjoy what they do. And if they start guilt tripping you for not being in the fucking stream all the time, find a new streamer. There's hundreds of thousands of streamers. Probably not hundreds. But there's a lot of streamers out there. Lots of them, right? There's definitely another streamer that would work for you. So, I'm just going to call that video there. I just wanted to talk about this. One, because I didn't have a video. Two, it's pretty important for a lot of small streamers to be able to do this. Um, And I like making talking videos. I like going <gasps> into my fucking mic because I'm talking at Mach 10 fucking speed. All right? But I hope you all enjoyed. Please subscribe. Uh, I upload every Saturday. Twitch.tv slash YouTuber. All the random shit. Do it if you want. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out, Cub Scouts. I'll see you in the next video.